Hello guys, welcome to Eran Media News and today being a Sunday, I'm privileged to be with my colleague here and we want to discuss some issues concerning the former prime minister who is Raila Odinga, what is the next move uh, or the calculated move to seek to save him from the another humiliation the next election which will be about in 2027 welcome my brother yes well thank you um shem don and i i hereby i like this uh, argument mm -hmm. that uh, this is the odm leader raira molodinga uh, who recently came uh, in our country from the diaspora and this man has come with this strategy so we are going to have a look at it uh, shortly kwa hivyo tutatumia lugha ya Kiswahili na ile ya Kiingereza kila ambacho tunataka kuangazia ni 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 hatua ipi ambayo kina Ruiu ambaye ni wa muungano wa azimio la moja Raila Odinga anapanga ama ni hatua zipi ambazo anatamania kuwa nazo katika mwaka 2020 samani na tutaangalia vigezo fulani ambavyo Raila Odinga ameviibua ambavyo anataka kidogo vifanywe mabadiliko yeah, na hivyo ningependa sana utuambie ni what are these three strategies that Raila Odinga is putting forward to be well calculated against uh, 2027 general elections okay thank you so first uh, as we have a look at that part uh, we realized that uh, this man this leader uh, wants to does need to, to reform the judiciary section so uh, it means that the judiciary has failed a lot to him according to him so he wants some reforms to be made to this judiciary in Kenya so all those uh, judiciary executives now should be uh, reformed in order to clean that room for him so this is one strategy mm. in preparation for two, the upcoming 2027 election yeah, remaining there yeah. ukiangalia Raila alipo rejea kutoka kiziwa cha Zanzibar yeah kidogo alishtumu ile idara ya mahakama akisema kwamba uamuzi uliotolewa kuhusiana na kesi ambayo aliwasilisha mahakamani haukuwa mm -hmm. wa haki na uhuru na kamshtumu eh, jaji mkuu ambaye ni Martha Kome na lile jopo ambalo lilikuwa linashughulikia mm -hmm. kesi hiyo akiwemo jaji Isa Klenaula ambaye kidogo seneta ambaye ni wabusi ya ukio mtata ama activist ama ukipendo naweza mwita mwanaharakati mm -hmm. alisema kwamba alikuwa na mjumu kiplani ama alikuwa na mthreaten mm -hmm. kwenye whatsapp group kwa hivyo mm -hmm. sala ile odinga anataka ile judiciary iondolewe na alitishia sana kwamba huenda wakaanzisha maandamano mm -hmm. ya takriban watu milioni moja ili kuamazisha ile judiciary iweze kujiondoa ama waweze kurisign tupe the next uh, kigezo cha pili ambacho sasa hivi umezungumzia the judiciary tupe mm -hmm. kigezo cha pili ambacho Raila Odinga kidogo anataka kifanywe mabadiliko oh so uh, on that side as we have a look at it mm -hmm. we realize that this man uh, Raila Odinga mm -hmm. uh, wants to make uh, his government so in other words he want to he wants to reinforce uh, the other sectors so far let's say from finance and all those areas so Odinga uh, as you see from the previous general election that we uh, participated on mm -hmm. so he always claims that uh, he has been humiliated for long so the strategy mm -hmm. here is more especially the judiciary yeah the the, the, the first uh, you want to reform the judiciary the yeah. next or he was claiming is about IBC. So I want you to talk about a little bit about IBC, which okay. is the Electoral Boundary Commission. Thank you. Thank you. So in this, uh, the Electoral Boundary and the Commission of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So we realized that uh, this man, uh, this our leader, as we can say, the leader of the people, as we may say. So and you realize, uh, uh, as the results were to be announced by the IBC chairman, we have Yeah. So. We realized that there are those areas uh, that uh, didn't satisfy Raila according to his view. Mm. So he feels like uh, Jibukati was owned uh, or blackmailed so that he could rely on the other party and not his. So he thinks that the judgment made even from the court, uh, from the Supreme Court, is not right, was not right at that time. So. Uh, this man has come up with strategies uh, so that he can overcome the those uh, humiliation he has been undergoing through from the previous years. So 2027, we don't know the kind of uh, 
uh, change that we've made before. So we are still waiting to see. Kwa hivyo ni hicho kigezo cha pili ambacho umezungumzia ni kuhusiana na tume huru ya mipaka na uchaguzi hapa nchini ambayo ni IBC ma ukipenda the electoral body linayosimamia uchaguzi mkuu na kile ambacho Raila Odinga alisema ni kwamba IBC inafaa wale maafisa ma wale mwenyekiti na maafisa wote wanaosimamia tume huru ya IBC waweze kuondolewa ili fikapo mwaka 2027 watakati ambapo kutakuwa na uchaguzi mwingine upata kwamba hiyo the electoral body imeweza kuwa dismissed kabisa. Hivyo Raila Odinga anajaribu kwamba hakikishi kwamba ifike hapo mwaka 2024 e, miaka mitatu baadaye ambapo tutakuwa tunashuhudia uchaguzi mkuu ipate kwamba ile electoral body ishaondolewa. Kwa hivyo hiyo nadhani ndicho kigezo ambacho Raila Odinga kidogo alistiza sana na kukiitilia mkazo kiweze kufanyiwa mabadiliko kando na ile ya judiciary na vile vile alidokeza kwamba e, serikali ya sasa hivi imeteka nyara imeanza kuteka nyara idara ile ya mahakama na kwa hivyo kupeleka nchi yetu ikuwe kwenye state capture kwa lugha ya Kiingereza jinsi ambavyo walisema na ningependa Dominic utupe kigezo cha pili ambacho nadhani Raila Odinga alikizungumzia So, tuweze kuelezea mtazamaji ni kipi ambacho kinajiri kwenye hiyo kigezo hiyo cha tatu so another option hii tunaangalia mm -hmm. ni kwamba kinara wa ODM uh, Ramon Odinga uh, pia ameangalia yale mambo ambayo uh, kwa mfano tukisema about issues of finance uh, maybe banking uh, and also we realize that this man is now is trying to invest his resources in two options finally oh to begin with for example uh, the man claim claims a lot about his parliament so he could say that uh, from this uh, election that were done last the majority leaders in in this upcoming or in this new government now we have mm -hmm. uh, is from the lawmakers so uh, still the man want to strive off that part because he feels that, that these people may end up changing even the referendum so mm -hmm. they may change everything mm -hmm. uh maybe to humiliate him so that's why the man is trying to do away with this judiciary labda nikuulizie dominic yeah. wewe kwa mfano raila odinga akijibua kwenye kinyanganyiro pia cha kuwania urais kiti cha urais ifikapo mwaka 2027 yeah. una matumaini wala ambao walimpigia kura mwaka huu wa 2022 wakarejea kwenye kwenye kikapu chake na kumpigia kura ama ina kwa vipi no. kwa mtazamo wako labda um trabu tasamia mm -hmm. kweli ni kwamba maybe ni, ni itategemea kwa sababu kuna wala watachitolea kumpigia kura mm -hmm. na kule wala ambao for now tunasema like uh, wame hawana moyo tena wa kuifufua hiyo serikali yake mm -hmm. so kuna kuna ile hofu ya kwamba iwapo tena tutampigia kura wakati ujao mm -hmm. uh, the same same incident may, may be, uh, repeating itself so as a result ni kama watu wengi hawatachitokeza hawata kutakuwa na shingo upande mm. so kuna hayo matarajio yote labda swali lingine la mwisho labda kwa mtazamaji kwa faida ya mtazamaji Raila Odinga anataka vigezo hivi vitatu vishughulikiwe vi kwa kina mm -hmm. kigezo cha kwanza ikiwa ni kwamba idara ile ya mahakama ifanyiwe mageuzi mm -hmm. e, kigezo cha pili ni kwamba ile m, the IBC officials ama E, tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka hapa nchini IBC wafanyie mabadiliko msasa yeah. yani isafishwe kabisa je yeah. yeah. Raila Odinga akitimiza huu wajibu wake yeah. kwanza kabisa kisha kwamba judiciary imefanyiwa mabadiliko mm -hmm. na IBC je yeah. unadhani kwamba ili vizingizio vyake ambavyo mm -hmm. amevitambua vitamsaidia katika uchaguzi wa mwaka 2027 ama bado atagonga mwamba na uh, ni kweli kusema ya kwamba uh, kama kutakuwa na hayo mabadiliko kufanyika mm -hmm. uh, unasema kwamba mwenye nguvu mpishe mm -hmm. so at times itategemea na wakati so at times huwa tunasema like kama wakati waka uchafika mm -hmm. uh, bado ana nafasi na iwapo wakati wake wa kuongoza haupo mm -hmm. ndilo tuseme kwamba haupo kamwe so itategemea mm -hmm. ni kama kusema ya kwamba matumaini mengi 
hatutakuwa na matarajio ya huyu kiongozi wetu mm-hmm. kama wananchi wa Kenya so anaishindana na mwenzake ambaye ni president William Ruto kwa sasa ni kwamba haya mambo hayatakuwa yameo yameingiana kwa nchi ifa hayo so ni kama bado kutakuwa na zile vizuishi kama zile zinavyoendelea sasa hivi. Alafu swala la mwisho kabisa mm. Raila Odinga he claims that he has the majority numbers in the parliament you yeah. know these things kama za kitaka labda idara ile ya mahakama iweze kumwalewa lazima ipitie kwenye bunge la kitaifa yeah. na unajua iki chances za kupita zinategemea una wabunge wangapi ama do you have the majority or you yeah. the minority yeah. Raila Odinga is claiming to have the majority of the members of parliament mm-hmm. na muungano wa Kenya kwanza nao unasema kwamba kiukweli mm-hmm. najua kuna wale wabunge ambao walikuwa ni wabunge huru kumi mm-hmm. walihamia muungano wa Kenya kwanza kwa kwanza kwa hivyo so... nadhani ile namba ile race kidogo kwa hivyo nadhani mimi kwa mtazamo wangu itakuwa ni vigumu sana yeah. kwa kina huyu haya mambo kuweza kupitishwa kwenye lile bunge la kitaifa labda kwa mtazamo wako tukimalizia malizia tu kwenye zetu ni kweli kwamba ya kwamba tunafahamu ya kwamba katika waso hili kuziana na uchaguzi the judiciary and all those things tunagundua ya kwamba there must be two types of the members from the parliament yeah, to decide yeah, that is true yeah if these uh, suggestions uh, or these claims that Raila Odinga is trying to give uh, will be resolved so tunagundua ya kwamba uh, hakuna uwezekano katika hilo swala lake kufanyika kwa sababu a uh, tunapoangalia ule upande wa Kenya kwanza ambaye ni UDA mm-hmm. tunalaisi ya kwamba kuna wapunge wengi sana Kweli. ambao wamewania fiti mbalimbali katika maeneo mbalimbali nchini Kenya na wakaweza kuchukua ile nafasi kubwa bungeni mm-hmm. so tunaona ya kwamba hata kuwa na uwezo ama nguvu ya kubadilisha mm-hmm. haya mambo juu lazima ataenda kwa referendum fanya mabadiliko na huku so mm. ni kama bunge lake litakuwa na watetesi wachache sana mm. so waso lake ni kama halitaweza kuendelea anavyohitaji mm. yeah. kwa sasa hivi muungano wa azimio la moja unaongoza kwenye upinzani sisi hatuna la ziada lakini haya tu yamekuwa ni maoni tu na tulikuwa tunajaribu kukucholea taswira kamili jinsi mambo yalivyo na rejea na taarifa zingine usikwende mbali hii ni Aaron Midi langu jina ni Sylvester Kilo mwenzangu ni Shem Dominic karibu